Home Alone, 1981, Short Game Review. The McAllisters went on vacation and forgot Kevin, so when two burglars arrive at 9 o'clock, he has to be ready for them with traps set up and the like. Problem is, it's already 8 o'clock, and in game time, you only get 8 minutes to set up all the traps that you have to then lure Harry and Marv into. The game basically consists of these two portions, setting up the traps, which is, you know, already already there, it's tense, because you don't have a lot of time, you have to figure out where all the traps are, and where you can put them, and how to activate them, and stuff like this, and then Harry and Marv arrive, and you have two guys chasing you. If they touch you, you're instantly gone. You know, you lose immediately, no matter how far ahead you were. You have to lure them into ten traps each, and then you win the game, you know, and it'll clock you, basically, it'll, it'll write the amount of time you took to, you know, to defeat them, and, you know, that, that will go on the high score table, which is really among the only replayability in this. That and the fact that it will take several tries to actually get good at it and be able to defeat the you know, these two burglars, you, you set up all these traps, you know, at most three or four in a single room, and then you have to lure Harry and Marv into them. If you just hide from them, you know, they're just going to keep looking and eventually they'll find you. you. You need to take an active role. You can also use the BB gun to damage them, but that only works once. And some of the traps need activating by being shot by the BB gun, so again, you know, you'll want to be close to some of the traps, and you'll want to be in sight of the, of at least one of the burglars, so that you can lure him into a bunch of traps. And you'll also want to be mindful of where the other one is, so that they can't, you know, come from either side. Every time they hit a trap, you get a roughly two second grace period, and you'll want to make sure to keep moving, because again, three or four traps to a single room, and you have to lure both of them into ten. And by the way, you also want to steer clear of the traps once Harry and Marv arrive, because you yourself can accidentally, you know, botch them if you touch them, so yeah. Be mindful of that, and be mindful of the layout of the house, which is quite nicely recreated from the movie. And this is one of those licensed games that actually work, you know, it's... The, the climax of the movie makes sense to make a video game out of. Anyway, if you know how you can get around the house, and some of the paths, such as the laundry chute, I'm not sure Harry and Marv can actually use to follow you, so... Yeah, that helps you, you know, keep a little bit of distance between you and them, but note that if they don't know where you are, if they're not in, like, the room next to the room you're in, or in the same room as you, they're going to move fairly slowly, and you may have to get closer to them, or they're going to just spend a bunch of time just going, you know, all the way to one side of the house, and then all the way back to the other side, just looking for you. The game always tells you where the two burglars are, and if they've just touched a trap or not, so you you can really strategize and figure out how to best approach it. It's an uphill battle, but it's doable, and it's very satisfying to win. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below, it's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.